And in my head, <laughs> that can never be me. What did I know? Nigeria broke me. The world is getting tougher every day. Competition is increasing. Jobs are disappearing. And AI is taking over. To stay ahead, you need to learn high income skills so that instead of being replaced, you will be unstoppable. So if this is something you're interested in, kindly stay with me and click the like button so that this video can reach a wider audience. And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, kindly click the subscribe button and make sure to turn on the notification bell. On this channel, I share content on remote jobs, passive income ideas, and how to make money online. My name is Ufan Akban. Let's get started. The first, AI proficiency. AI, artificial intelligence, has evolved so much over the last two years at a ridiculous pace, and it's just only going to keep getting bigger. I think AI is a tool that needs to be understood and used properly. At the end of the day, it's just a computer that can only do so much with the information you provide it. So it's really important you give it the right information in order to get the answer you need. Learning how to use AI is just learning how to use google let me digress a little do you know that there are some people that don't know how to use google most people use google in a simple way when searching for things but power users know how to use google to get exactly what they need ai is the same most people use ai for basic things while others use ai for big big things big big things <laughs> personally i'm still trying to figure out the things i can do with ai the possibilities are endless i told someone last month that ai is not here to replace us the people who knows how to use ai are the ones coming for your job so it's pretty Pretty obvious to not be replaced by AI you need to learn AI but what does that actually mean learning AI skills doesn't necessarily mean you have to spend years learning how to be a machine engineer or machine learning engineer or AI scientist rather it's essential that you upskill yourself and learn the modern uses of AI within the context of your work so you can increase the output and the quality of your work and also reduce excess time AI can save you a lot of your time so the first step to learning ai is to actually be aware of what it's capable of explore some of the ai tools or the major ai tools currently available and their use cases read articles watch videos it will put you one step ahead of everyone else because you'll be able to recognize what ai is actually replacing and what it's not replacing and most importantly spot opportunity to use ai and make money online <laughs> Now let's talk about sales and marketing. Nigeria broke me. I don't know about other countries, but during my university days, I remember this skill being looked down upon. I was one of those people. <laughs> my perspective about marketing now is totally different from what it was then. Marketers were always seen on the streets trying to convince people to buy a product, their products or the services they were promoting. And in my head, <laughs> that can never be me. What did I know? Marketing was seen as a worthless, low-income skill compared to other skills. Today, I've realized that that view was wrong. Marketing is, without a doubt, one of the most valuable and high-income skills that anyone could have and has made me more money than the course I studied in school. We live in an attention economy where everyone and everything is trying to grab your attention, especially businesses. Having a good product or services is no longer cutting it anymore. Businesses need to stand out in order to succeed. That's where marketing comes in. Marketing is a skill of promoting a product or service and it's in high demand. Today, it will always be this is my opinion. Every year, businesses are investing in areas such as content marketing, digital marketing, and social media marketing. Having a marketing skill can help you find work in any of these growing fields. As AI grows, marketing will become more valuable because they focus on understanding and engaging with people. Humans are unpredictable. We get bored easily and have unique needs and preferences. These human factors keep marketing skills in demand and make them hard for AI to replace. Even if you don't work in marketing or you don't want to work as a marketer, you don't want to work for organizations as a marketer, this is an essential skill that you should have. Today, having a personal brand is more important than ever. Everyone wants to start their own business. If you want to be known in your industry, if you want to grow your social media following, if you want clients to take you seriously, you have to market yourself well and shape how others 
see and think about you. Marketing skill can really pay off in entrepreneurship. Much of running a business is essentially marketing. You need to build a brand. You need to analyze data, identify niches, design your products or your services, and attract customers or clients. All of it are marketing tasks. When you combine marketing skills with entrepreneurship, you're not just promoting a business, you're promoting your business and can enjoy all the rewards and benefits that comes with it. This is how I mainly use my marketing skill. So how can you learn marketing? You could go to school for it, take a course online, but honestly, I didn't do any of these. I studied communication and I don't think I've ever taken an online course on marketing. I believe the best way to learn is by doing it. Start with your personal brand as your first project and gradually expand your knowledge from there. Sales on the other hand may seem similar to marketing because both involves selling a product or a service, but there is a difference. Marketing builds awareness while sales closes the deal. Sales involves finding leads, pitching, negotiating, and ultimately securing the deal. Many sales jobs offer high salaries, especially in tech, financial services, and pharmaceutical industries. Oftentimes, these jobs are tied to commission, meaning the more you sell, the more you earn. So there's a lot of money in sales if you're good at it. Also, sales is a transferable skill you can use in other fields, not just tech, finance. As a matter of fact, it's one of the best transferable skills. Because in today's world, everybody's trying to sell something to you. Why not sell to them as well? <laughs> We're literally selling something all the time. Every day, we sell our opinions, we sell our ideas, sell our worth for a raise. Or even when you're trying to go on a date, you sell yourself. Not that way, like your value. You sell your value so people can trust you because at its core, sales is about building trust with people and addressing their needs. It's not just a business skill, it's a life skill that is tough for AI to replace. Come replace this AI, we bet you. So if you want to learn sales, put yourself in a position where you have to sell something directly to someone. Ask her out, ask him out, sell a service, sell a product to someone directly online, offline, go knock on some doors and learn some sales skills, mate. <laughs> the next skill is content creation. Content creation is obviously something I do. It's what I'm doing right now. I make content that I believe provides value to you, my audience. This helps me gain your attention, gain your trust and build a following of people who trust what I have to say. I can earn money through YouTube AdSense, sponsorships, affiliate income and selling my own products. However, content creation is not just about building your own following or sharing your own content. You can also create content for brands, for their social media channels and websites. And you can charge good money for this if you can produce quality content. Content creation is a blend of so many skills. Marketing. Remember marketing? <laughs> Videos, photos, sales. Yeah, sales again. Communication and so much more. However, get this, content creation is a slow process and progress rarely happens overnight. It takes years of work to build trust, just like any relationship. You get it? Okay, so now let's talk about communication. Our next skill. Almost everything involves some form of communication. The truth is, with more people living behind screens, fewer people are developing strong communication skills. It's sad, but it's true. And it also presents an opportunity for you. There are two major types of communication, speaking and writing. Writing is an essential skill that can lead you to work in copywriting or as a freelance writer. However, AI has made writing easier with tools like ChatGPT, Grammarly. While I don't think that AI will completely replace writing, it might make writing skills less valuable in the future, at least in terms of the technical aspect. Speaking, on the other hand, remains a powerful tool for direct human interaction. AI voices are becoming more realistic, but the nuances and emotional depths of human speech are difficult to replace. Public speaking, presentations, sales, pitches, negotiations, all require strong verbal communication skills. So here are some tips to improve both types of communication. You need to read regularly. You cannot be a good writer without reading. Now let's talk speaking. To learn how to speak well, it's about practice. You've got to talk a lot. 
and if you think being shy or introverted means you cannot be good at speaking you need to think again i'm an introvert and i was never so outspoken being introverted doesn't mean you should be timid and be excused for not being able to express yourself to express your ideas and your opinions god has not given us a spirit of fear but of boldness and sound mind. So don't let shyness stop you from developing this crucial skill that can literally make you good money. That being said, if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And make sure to like this video so it can reach a wider audience. All right, so let me talk about something else called competitive advantage. My unique advantage is that I've combined different skills I've learned over the years to sell services and products, digital products in this sense. I don't have any physical products. So most people don't realize that they have several skills that they can blend together to make money online or even offline this blend gives them an unfair advantage so what's your competitive advantage even if you don't take anything off this video today go back and ask yourself what's my competitive advantage what skills do i have list out all your skills ask yourself how do i blend these together and make money so if you have any recommendations for high income skills that are worth learning please leave them in the comments below if you found value in this video kindly give it a thumbs up share with your friends and families and i hope you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you stay updated for each time i post content like this one if you like this video you will love this one thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one